Good morning YouTube booktube. This is Johnny. I'm going to make a video. I think it's the 19th of March and I'm down the lower level. Uh, it is going on 9.30 in the morning here in West Michigan. I think it's the March the 19th. I didn't bring down my clock. And but I think it's the 19th. It's a Saturday morning. My wife, uh, she was gone last night and today she went to a women's conference and the, the speaker is speaking on the fear of God and she'll be gone until 2 o'clock and uh, I have tons of used books as I mentioned. I have a stack of thrift store used books over there but what I want to show you in this video is what I have recently bought at the Book Nook, the library used bookstore where I volunteer on Mondays and Fridays from 10 to 1. Uh, last, yeah, this week, uh, when I go to the Book Nook, it opens at 10 o'clock in the morning at the library. The library opens at 9. And I go to the Book Nook, I have to get keys to the store. At the, ref at the reference desk and then I go downstairs and I unlock the door into the store which is just you've seen the videos of the book nook and then I uh, unlock the cabinet where you have the money box and you have to fill a form there's a form that you write out what uh, what you sold that day paperbacks I mean, you have cash and credit, and you put it in there, and then you put the money in an envelope with your name and the shift that you worked. And after I do all that, I go in the back of the library. There's a there's a back and where they all the donations are at that that women go through to price and to either box them for a used book sale in Friends of the Library used book sale. Or they go to other uh, North Side Library, or they go to Gateway uh, Gateway Store, which is uh, Holland Rescue Mission. But so I go through the donations to see what has come in, and if I see anything that I want that I want to buy, I put them in a plastic bag and I put them on a desk to be priced by the woman who runs the bookstore, and. This week, I came across a ton of stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, first, I'm going to show you, uh, when I went there Monday, somebody had donated. He must have taught American history or colonial American history. And it was a whole box of stuff. And I bought several of those books. One I showed to you was that book on Jonathan Edwards, The Pastor. I showed you that one last night. So what I'm going to do, to be a long story short, <laughs> is show you the books I got at the Book Nook this week and some, and the week before. Because they're all stacking up and I want to put them away down here on the lower level. So these are the books on uh, early colonial American history, I suppose. And this is The Devil in Massachusetts. Modern Inquiry into Salem Witch Trials by Marion L. Starkley. I collect books on the Salem, Massachusetts witch trials. I, I can show you my collection, but these are two I didn't have. Witchcraft at Salem, Chadwick Hansen, The Cauldron of Controversy Boils in a Startling New Appraisal of the Power of Sorcery. Fully documented, fascinating Columbia's Dispatch. So I got these on the Salem Witchcraft Trials. And then I found this book, uh, Meeting House in the, in the County House, The Quaker Merchants of Colonia, Philadelphia, 1682 to 1763 by Frederick B. Tolls. Puritanism in Old and New England by Alan Simpson. Perry Miller, who is a very famous American historian, 
wrote, sane, witty, well-balanced, as fresh and readable as a man can make it. Let's see a little thing. And then, revivalism, social conscience in the community in the burnt-out district, the trial of Rodanda, Rhonda Binment by Glenn C. Auschauer and Jan and Salt Gaber. So I got this, The Puritan Way of Death, A Study of Religion, Culture, and Social Change by David E. Standard. Uh, it says in the back here, The Puritan Way of Death is more than a book about Puritans or about death. It's also about family, community, identity, and the modern world. Even before publication, Eminent historians, socialists, sociologists, and religious scholars in the United States and Europe, among them Gordon Wood, uh, William Clowbish, and Robert Nisbet, hailed it as a path-breaking, provocative, and excellent work, a terse, urbane, learned, and clear, humane volume. The Faithful Shepherd, A Study of New England Ministry in the 17th Century by David D. Hall. I have several books by David D. Hall in my uh, library. The Burnt Out District, Social, Intellectual History, Enthusiastic Religion in Western New York, 1800 to 1850, Whitney L. Cross. This book goes for $29 and the lady sold it to me for $7.50 it's kind of rare but I'm uh, this you have the Great Awakening with Jonathan Edwards and later on you have the second Great Awakening and a good book to read on the second Great Awakening it's not it's more like an, uh, an overview of 19th century American history is this book I always it's one of my favorite books I, I read it all I read I read through it all the time, The, the Stammering Century by Gilbert Sides. It's in the New York Review of Books Classics. There's an excellent uh, uh, section in here on the Second Great Awakening on the Burnout District, the revivals of that time period. And then I got this book. Uh, the Oxford Guide to the Book of Common Prayer, a Worldwide Survey, edited by Charles Heffing and Cynthia Sharnak. Sh Shanak. Yeah, I'm trying to find uh, a 17th century Book of Common Prayer, which is very hard to find. And then I bought this commentary on Ezekiel by Ian M. Duggett. The New International Application Commentary on the, the Prophecy of Ezekiel. So I got those. And then I also bought Fascism by Madeline Albright, A Warning. I have her memoirs, Madeline uh, Albright. Prague Winter Personal Remembrance of War, 1937 to 1948. So I have a little book on fascism, which is very timely right now. And then I bought Tennessee Williams plays. Uh, I have a big Tennessee Williams collection. These are his plays from 1937, 1955, 1957 to 1980, Library of America. Then I bought a book, uh, The Pearly Gates of Cyberspace, The History of Space from Dante to the Internet by Margaret Wertham.
Then I found a biography on Samuel Johnson I didn't have by uh, Joseph Wee Clutch. I have his biography on David Henry Thoreau. And then I bought The Corporation That Changed the World, How the East Indian Company Shaped the Modern Montanational by Nick Robbins. I'm interested in the uh, East Indian Company. This is a library withdrawal trips, how hallucinogenics work in your brain. Uh, sacred drawings by Crumb. We have have all these Crumb's drawings in here. You know, Crumb the cartoonist. And as you know, I collect books on psychedelics. So this is on psychedelics and uh, goes into my psychedelic LSD, mushrooms, mescaline. It looked kind of interesting. So that goes into my psychedelic collection. I collect books on the Cold War. This is Scattered Peace, The Origins of the Cold War, The National Security State by Daniel Hergen. This is a series that the New Yorker put out on the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s. This is the 60s, a story of a decade in the New Yorker. These are all articles that were in the New Yorker in the 60s or about the 60s. You have articles by Truman Capote, John Cheever, uh, Sylvia Path, John Updike, E.B. White. It's all about the 60s. And then I found this book, you know, I collect books on New York City. And this is on um, Brooklyn, a history of Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, the Once and Future City by Thomas J. Campanelli. It has a lot of illustrations and look really interesting about New York, about Brooklyn. Always hear about Brooklyn in the news, and, and then I I had an old copy of this book, an old paperback, and I found a new edition, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, Inquiry into Values by Robert N. Pichet. Pichet. This is a very famous book. It was published in first uh, 1974. So those are the books I got at the Book Nook. Oh, there's, there's one more I'll show you. Wait a minute. There's another book. I, I got these two big table books. This is Walking Dreams, The Art of the Pre-Raphaelites. Raphaels from the Delaware Art Museum. I'm really into that kind of art. The Pre-Raphaels. So, yeah, I got this big table book, coffee table book. I have a book on uh, Lizzie Sindel. She was a model, the face of the pre rapper outs by Lucindia Huxley. Huxley. And then I picked up this book, The Art of Rock. Uh, spectacular visual and oral history. It's just all these posters from the rock. You know, all these rock posters. It's just full of stuff. You know, all these art rock history posters. That's what I got at the book nook the last two weeks. And so now I can put these away, put them in their different collections. So, uh, yeah, I really recommend this book. I really have enjoyed reading it over the couple of years. 
This one came out in oh, 2012. It's really an interesting overview of 19th century American history. How do you recommend it? The Shimmering Century by Gilbert Seidel's. So that's about it. Now I got, like I said, I have, I've gone to thrift stores the last couple of weeks. I got some books from the Blue Stocking Bookshop. I can show you. I'll probably show those in in the future videos. But I just want to show you that uh, what I got in the book nook lately. I go to book nook Monday. This coming Monday. Yesterday I volunteered at the book nook and nothing really was there this yesterday, Friday. I got a book coming in the mail tomorrow. A book by Harry Cruz. Penguin Classics has just published two earlier novels by Harry Cruz, which I'm really excited about. Uh, they republished his his novel, the the uh, the Soul Singer, which I'm getting in the mail. So I suppose I'll sign off. Is now going on. 9.45 this morning. I haven't read for devotions. Like I said, Carol left early for that women's conference on the fearing God. And yeah. So I hope you have a good reading weekend. A new week's coming up. We're going into spring next week. Hopefully the war in Ukraine will be some kind of, I don't know, Anyway, I thank you for your comments on my last video. Thank you for your prayers. To pray for Ukraine. Pray that God will restrain the hand of evil. And until next time, bye.